President. President Tinubu hopes that beyond efforts to ensure food security, this new move will also address issues of farmers' headers crisis in the country. A determined President Bola Tinubu seeks an end to the farmers' headers conflict that has caused death, displacement, and devastation for decades. The newly created Ministry of Livestock Development is not just for the safety of lives and property, but to also boost production and ensure food security in the sector that contributes about 2.3% to the country's GDP. This sector will boost agricultural productivity, enhance export opportunities, and stimulate economic growth by fostering a robust value chain that benefits farmers, processors, herders, distributors, and consumers alike. President also inaugurated at the newly established Renewed Hope Livestock Reform Implementation Committee and mandated it to operate independently and free from political influence. He appointed the renowned and respected Professor Atahiru Jega as Deputy Chairman to drive this process of ensuring inclusion for livestock farmers. We've identified the model for livestock management. It is done in other countries, in other claims successfully promoted a great, a great economy and empowerment for ordinary people. This will undoubtedly be a game changer in contributions of livestock sector to the agricultural GDP that is currently abysmal despite our huge potentials. A new minister that will steer the affairs of the Livestock Development Ministry will also be announced and his nomination will be sent to the Senate for confirmation. President Bola Tinibu hopes this ministry will enhance nutrition and increase productivity in the food value chain. The sustainable solution to the Nigerian's long-standing farmer heather conflict may be imminent with the creation of the Livestock Ministry and the inauguration of other committees to implement reforms. It is expected that the president's action will de-escalate a conflict that has reclaimed over 60,000 lives in the north-central region alone. Gifts Uwagba reporting for BTV News.